Tonight, you have the opportunity to help some of the tiniest patients at Sioux City's hospitals. The ultrasound equipment used at the maternal and fetal medicine at Unity Point Health Clinics overdue for an upgrade. Money raised through Children's Miracle Network will help buy the latest and greatest equipment to replace it. KTIV's Claire Bradshaw shares how the new ultrasound technology will help diagnose issues sooner. You know the saying, out with the old. This equipment is over 11 years old. And in with the new. This equipment is as close to an MRI that you can get without doing an MRI. The Volusen Expert 22 is what Dr. Al Fleming wants to replace the ultrasounds in each exam room. But for now, he's just hoping for one. It has a lot of high quality features that benefit mom's peace of mind along with Dr. Fleming's. Part of my job here is, is to keep moms and babies here in Sioux City and to keep babies out of the intensive care nursery. However, we can't keep all babies here. And this equipment will allow earlier diagnosis of congenital heart defects, other problems that require surgery that we can't take care of here. Congenital heart defects can be diagnosed as early as 12 weeks with this equipment. Whereas at the present time, the equipment we have may be diagnosed around 22 weeks. Dr. Fleming says it will also benefit sonographers because it's increased exam speed and accuracy. Sonographers, he says, are at risk of wear and tear on their bodies like carpal tunnel. Volusen Expert 22 will have a clearer, more detailed imaging with a price tag of around $200,000. General Electric says it will have better images for early pregnancy, detect and diagnose fetal heart rate issues, and look at pelvic health on mom. That's all good news for Dr. Fleming. Well, not only does it allow me to, to understand or to diagnose a baby who needs to go elsewhere for surgery, for example, but also gives me confidence in saying this baby's normal staying here in Sioux City for delivery with mom and dad. In Sioux City, Claire Bradshaw, KTIV News 4.